Man, we need a fan, cause they say the flow is too hot. Hit them on the head like some rock and soccer robots. Scared to rep the crown, that is something that we not. Resi on the ones and twos, cause we take it two spots. Man, we need a fan, cause they say the flow is too hot. Hit them on the head like some rock and soccer robots. Scared to rep the crown, that is something that we not. Resi on the ones and twos, cause we take it two spots. Boy, I be coming up in the air, they telling me simmer it down. Everybody is a finna, yeah, cause I be repping the crown. Man, you seen it working, I see you as you lurking. Ain't nobody gonna be telling me different because I defined my purpose worth it. Man, I really be working, put my time in on the grind. See me as I'm searching and I read between the lines. They say seeking you shall find. Please be meek, but don't be shy. Close your eyes, but open your mind. You will be shocked by all of the signs. We don't live by sight alone, I more so live by faith. Even though I'm full grown, I'm still glad I got grace. My name don't mean much, but I know one that's got weight. Man, I'm in good hands, but I ain't talking no all state. Sit right there and let me kick back Man, I'm moving mountains See my faith right here on this track I can't live without it Hoping one day that you get that Man, we need a fan Cause they say the flow is too hot Hit them on the head Like some rock and soccer robots Scared to rep the crown That is something that we not Busy on the ones and twos Cause we take it two spots Man, we need a fan Cause they say the flow is too hot Hit them on the head Like some rock and soccer robots Scared to rep the crown That is something that we not Busy on the ones God is great, let me thank him for this day, let me thank him for his grace, let him hate, won't debate, gave me skills that made me great, watch me brag about my God and watch me blow up in your face. Screaming Ephesians, will I be scrapping these demons, my friends are calling out treason, cause I will fall on my dreaming, tearing holes in the ozone, the name will be all known, haters have gone cold, you live it for false gods. I'm cool with the blood and the faith, they're living the truth, the way in the life, the rest of my case, that's one of me, but I'm still in the sight, I know what my calling means, speaking that void from the south, I ate my collard greens, mama keep calling What's next? It's alright cause I am mightier than Sephora right? But I'm stronger to the finish I only green I need is finish I don't need a tile to win it So you know this rap is finished Man we need a fan cause they say the flow is too hot Hit them on the head like some rock and soccer robots Scared to rep the crown that is something that we not Busy on the ones and twos cause we take it two spots Man we need a fan cause they say the flow is too hot Hit them on the head like some rock and soccer robots Scared to rep the crown that is something that we not on the ones and twos cause we take it okay it's me it's your boy it's it's it's, it's scott your your man the myth the boom boom muscle bound legend I- <laughs> Welcome back to the live stream, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Forgiven Warrior channel, and we are back with some more Harry Pooter. Well, I say Harry Pooter, technically it's Hogwarts Legacy, and that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. Um, what is happening right now? I don't even know. I got to change the name of this, but for now, we're going to click on it and see where it goes okay so anyways welcome back to the stream hope you guys are doing great um i had a great time i had to go film a wedding and um and everything and then uh, now i'm back to stream for a couple you know maybe maybe a little bit it, it, it's kind of late so we're gonna we're gonna get into this how do i hang on i want to select select continue continue the journey Sorry, I know that was super entertaining. I was answering a text message. So, that's what you get. Uh, but welcome back to the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 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 wait, let me do this so I can see. All uh, right, cool, cool. 
we are live and we are enjoying our first day at Hogwarts. Hogwarts. I said Hogwarts. Hey, Grits. It's your first day, hey, Grits. All right. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a little bit on, on one. All right. What is that? What is RT? Oh, okay. That's my spell. I forgot. All right. So we're at the first day of hey, Grits. And we're going to go uh, exploring. I need to head to my common room. Sounds as though there are some voices coming from nearby. Perhaps just to follow. You know what? You know, you should maybe not always follow the voice. Oh, that door very violently opened up. So is this like a free roam, right? I can just free roam anywhere I want to, right? That's what's going on here. That's creepy because it sounds like it's covering my head. All right. Book. Uh, what's down here? What is this? Can't break it. Hello? Is anybody in here? Rebellion. Not revealing anything, are you, huh? Oh, we could be hiding in here. Somebody has something they just shouldn't have, you know, in their stash. <laughs> no, 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 no. We've done goofed. Hang on. Done messed up. I dropped my controller and I broke something. Hang on. Sorry, guys. I tried to spell and I can't do it. All right. Oh, uh, cool. Oh, my nose. All right. All right. We'll go. We'll go your way or the highway. I just, I really wanted to, 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 to you know. Which way is the common room? Probably where everything is in common. <laughs> oh, oh. You tell me not to run? Hey, yeah. Revelio. Okay. Hello, people. I don't know what that is. All right. Well, you know, we'll just continue the game. I like. I don't want to take forever. <sighs> what is this? Level one lock. Okay. No. Different. Starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. You're talking about me already, huh? It's all right. I know. I'm not the boy who lived, but um, I am the boy. <laughs> you with you. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon food, like that poor man from the ministry. Hmm. I can't imagine starting right from the day. Day. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sure you use them. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that X was. Just bite into an apple, you will. Hey, All right, I'm gonna meet these people. Go on. Hey, sure, Gareth. You don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello, you're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. <laughs> so am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. That must be nice. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back.
All right, sorry guys. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. All right. Uh, what's that in your mug? Are you having butter beer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Okay. Okay. You have a knack for potions? Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you have a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Well, it was nice meeting you. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. All right. Christina, just the girl on top of the fireplace. Nelly will do anything for Joe. The professor could arrive any moment. Oh. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> you fall Don't off. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower from the outside. Without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Uh, it was terrifying. It's true. It's true. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey. I can't believe it. How Did thrilling. You say crikey? And you say crikey when you terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. My story has? Uh. What do people say about my travels? What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Most well, of us you know, I am uh, quite a dragon man, Not you know what I mean? Escape the jaws <laughs> of a dragon. <laughs> of course, okay. it's got people talking. Sorry. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. You travel fast and hard. I shouldn't say that. Uh, all right. Not afraid of heights, are you? I take it you're not afraid of heights. Hmm. It's something I've always done since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. All right, have you ever encountered a dragon? I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I'd think. Sorry, guys. Well, I'm nice sure to meet you. I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you <laughs> scale your next tower. <laughs> you never know. Bye for now. Help oh, me, there she goes. Okay, uh, to Krishida. Oh, so are these I like my? Time? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I you said it's like Hermione it and Ron together. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendid Cressida. To meet theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fink's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did a study with him a little before we arrived. Blast. Yeah, a little. I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Your casting needs work, you stink. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't worry. Right. 
You'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Yeah. There's a lot of professors that y'all keep saying that I have no idea who they are yet. Uh, I wish you luck. Uh, how hard is it to cast non-verbal spells? Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, kind of sounds I like tried Moaning to cast Depulse from the newer Harry on a Potter movies. In the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Well, wish you luck. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Nice Enjoy to meet you, Crescendo. Or... <laughs> That's a New Gryffindor. Nice to meet you, Nintendo. Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Okay, meet Professor Weasley, shall I? All right, here we go. Ron Weasley, Dumbledore. Right. Hello, Professor. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. Nope, I've been not at all. Of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation. Joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you a book. Are. <laughs> a fancy book. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would hey, be lady, wise to take the full advantage that? of this exceptionally valuable It's because special. I'm a fifth year. Well, first time fifth year. That book just disappeared. All right. Thank you, Professor. But what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me, and we shall put it to the test. Okay. I'm going. This way. I'm right behind you. The guide will give you opportunities <clears throat> to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. You don't say. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using yep. the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right here with you. You're kind of, kind of, kind of going a little slow for my pace, honestly. But yeah. Aha! The guide appears to have some information for you about that painting. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll. Revelio. Portrait depicts the wizard buff Bar Barufio, famed for his bright brain elixir and examples of what happens when contagious what was working. He said once, said S instead of F and found himself on the floor of the buffalo on his chest. Well, you know, you, you know, you never want a buffalo on your chest. Okay. So they're the only way to get experience points. Okay. All right, so okay, this is your wizarding level. Okay. Oh, okay. Touch your current challenge progress. Okay. So much to do. Okay, field guide pages. All right. Oh. 
All right, discover field guide pages around the world. Room of requirement. I don't even know what that is. I mean, I know what that kind of looks like. All right, so select on that. Each challenge has tiers, special awards to lock. And more special claims for the challenge when you come back off to collect rewards. Okay, X field guide. Okay. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Ajah! Oh, there's that. I didn't. I, I revealed something over here. Hang on. Hang on, Professor. I saw something over here. Nope. Can't go there. Apparently. Never mind. Just no time to waste. Level one no wizard. To attend. Well, you know, I'd like to go, but I'm. Uh, you're making me go at your pace. <laughs> Sorry. Max spell for that. Hope not. What is this? Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay, open map. Gotcha. Flu flames. Central Hall. Uh, the left side of the map is where students professionals live. They include the house common rooms and the great hall. Uh, select the south region. Oh my gosh. All right, in this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. The green flu, 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 flu flames. Um, okay, gray, including your own house, gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered. Okay, we'll turn the map. Okay. The rest of the map is where you'll find the academic points of interest, including astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Okay, select the library annex. This is the library annex. Okay, select that. All right, and then Professor Wizzy has the central hall flu flames for you. Use R to rotate the map as fast travel to central hall flu flames. All right. Uh, a white outline indicates your active target. Hey, okay, yeah, I know that. All right, so this is interesting. So it's teaching me a lot. Hi, bud. What's up? What? Okay. So it definitely teach me a lot about the game right now. That is for sure. Um, okay. <sighs> I'm tired. I'm not streaming for that long, honestly, guys. Be real with y'all. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Where are we Always at? Central Hall? happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh, what's Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Right, thank you for foreshadowing Can for me. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against yeah. the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecat in charge of our students' education in that regard. All right, cool. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Uh, 
Mrs. Lucy, I see you catching you, on, Lee. Professor. A lot to absorb on your first Rennet, day. whatever you just said. And you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Um... Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. That's right. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic it seems hmm well i'm just glad you both arrived in one piece me too Perfectly was a big dragon carriages to hogwarts and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon i wouldn't say i chose the dragon's path professor rather unfortunately it would seem that it chose us Facts. very well enough chit chat i need to get to class myself might i rely on you professor fig to explain the details of the field guide's map of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And That's great. Can I play the game? Invaluable to me. As I... Yes. Come and find me in my classroom after you. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for the. Okay. All right. You know, it does help them look at the thing while you're do, I, do I gotta talk? Because I really don't want to. Okay, so let's let's explore. So I got a map, I got a quest. Welcome to Hogwarts. I gotta still talk to you. Okay. Uh no relationship, quest available. Inventory collections. What's this? What is that? Uh Revelio pages. Uh what is the point of this? Okay, so these are just Revelio things I find. Conjuring, con conjugate, conjugate, conjuration, whatever. Traits. Okay, so I could find a bunch of stuff there. Uh, I will post. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so tired, guys. It's starting to hit me. Um. All right, let me talk to Professor Fig Newton. <laughs> I'm sorry. Professor Fig Newton. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? It was nothing, sir. Uh, let me continue my honesty real quick. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay.
The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and... You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than... Alright, cool. Alright, sorry. Alright, so we're in the game. Quest complete. Welcome to Haunt Cast Charmed Compass. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. Can I go this way? Okay, it was loading. Okay. I'm outside. Why does it gotta breathe like that? Why is it red? All right, here we go. Well, I'm glad they had this charm thing so I could track quests. It's easier for me to get around. Cause I would not know what to do. Oh, hi. Are you just not? Oh, your eyeballs. Revelio. Oh. Oh. Oh, here we go. Wait, how do I... Oh, wait, is that a flu flame? Wait, hang on. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's just a, that's just a flame to get me where I'm at. Okay. Uh, let me attend my, uh, my dark arts class here. Probably all I'm going to do, honestly. Well, we'll do the we'll do the two classes, and then uh. Is that all you've got? Let me also, Professor Hackett. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking not. yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Yep, I learned it. I'm, I'm done. I'm amazing. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> Let 
Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. Good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Good. Now, well done. Okay, Very got it. Very good. But the best way to practice is by duel. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. Using the Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. This should be easy. Potato. Potato. Let me Good form. I know. This can't be your first time. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. If only all the students could accept. I do. Oh, I, I knocked him you. off the table. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> yeah, I just smacked you across the room, I bro. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Yeah. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned. Sounds suspicious. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared uh, so to know. Slytherin versus Gryffindor thing. If you want thing. to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps Trying somewhere to be a bad unsanctioned. Boy. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time.
All right, we're going to go to charms class. I can get out the door. All right, one more class, and then that's that's just it for the streaming tonight, guys. I'm tired. I'm sorry. It's a pretty cool open world, though. I'm not going to lie. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want to finish the lesson. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Well, thank you, you're so sweet. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you <laughs> even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Okay, you're teaching me a lot in the first day, I'm not gonna lie. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Huh? 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what am I supposed to do, Professor? I don't know. 
very simply cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Accio. Now, uh, think of this like... Splendid! That's it! Okay. Excellent control there. Okay. Okay, I got it. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Be sharp. There we go. Akio. Splendid! Ah. <laughs> Dang, why you gotta why you gotta be so good at this? Alright, hang on. I got you. You're in my way. You're in my way. Keep that rolling. Yes, 50. Nicely done. Let's have see this. Oh, only 40, huh? That is how it's done. Oh no. Akio. Perfect score. Oh, Remarkable. Yeah. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. Perfect score. Can't handle this. You wish. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? What'd you do? I didn't see. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Watch this. Okay. There all we about go. timing in this one, huh? Akio. Yes! That's okay. We got this. There we go. Very good. Let us see this. Close. Really close. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred I mean, I, I beat you the first it round. Let's easier. not forget that. I promise. I don't want you to forget that I, be, I, I beat you the first round, okay?
That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Nice. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Why would the teacher be staring in the background? Oh, they could tell me about it's it. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu. But I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course. Thank you. Back humans. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave the stream here. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Uh, not a super long day, but it's been a day. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Much love, and I will see you guys in the next live stream, okay? All right. Cool, cool.